Hi there, everyone. You are on the exam of Spooky Plus Channel, and uh, welcome. So, uh, here we are, back again, uh, in green hell. <laughs> um, it is... Oh, look, I tell you, I was doing so well, and I decided to go exploring, didn't I? Just, you know, just got the bug and had to just go for a little walk. Couldn't help myself. And ended up getting bitten by a snake <laughs> and uh, then collapsing. So not only did I end up getting bitten by a snake and collapsing and getting the worms, you get these worm things, but um, then I, you know, decided, well, look, I'll, uh, I'll set up a shelter, right? <laughs> So I thought I'll set it up a shelter and I got started on that and since then it has been an uphill battle. Just to put this shelter up it has been extremely difficult. However, uh, I found some things that are really cool around here. So I'm very happy that I found some stuff, right? Uh, my lead is not particularly good so I'm hoping for some reason the connection in this just kind of uh, tends to crackle and such and um, so hopefully it's going to hold out for me. I have, uh, ooh, I can see the chat so if you're in chat please do let me know you're here, say hi, I will keep an eye on it. Um, I'm just going to get back into this now so yeah, let's go. So as you can see, I've only got one log in there so far. Um, I might lighten my load. I keep having a problem trying to burn out the fireplace and um, get ash. I also have a mummy cat here who wants my attention just when I start streaming. So, <laughs> so I will just pause just briefly. Um, actually, that's not so bad. Let some people get on board anyway. So uh, yeah, you can see that I have a problem, whether it's a leaf or whatever it is. Uh, I've just cleared a bunch of trouble and I did learn how to make armour, thankfully. Uh, and uh, thank you to Glock9 for that, actually. Thanks, Glock. I didn't know I could even make armour, <laughs> but I, uh, I learned from you. And um, yeah, see, I've got a problem there, so I have an infection that has to be cleared. All right. Um, okay, so I won't be, there won't be much commentary going on. Um, clearly I am, yeah, I have a, a nursing mother here, nursing mother cat, and uh, she gets a little bit feisty wanting my attention to do this and that. Yeah, so I'll just have to kind of keep an eye on her um, as we go. That's, yeah, I've had caring duties of various descriptions lately. So I haven't been able to stream. Um, yeah, just a lot of things going on as well um, with the property and, and all sorts of stuff, you know, um, repairs and the things happening. So I've just basically, with everything that's been going on, I just decided, well, I'd give it a break. But what, what I uh, have found down here is I went for a wonder and I discovered that I can get to the river down here. Now there's lots of animals, um, which is, is good. I am around the corner from the base. Oh, Why is that not working? Okay, where's my little map? Um, my map, 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 inspect. It's not going to let me do it. Okay. Um, it's decided it's not going to let me have my map. Some reason. Oh, look what I found though. There we go. Okay. Um, so my stats aren't terrible anymore. I do need to eat a little bit more in the way of maybe a coconut or something like that would fix it. Uh, however, yeah, I did at one stage. I was able to access my map and now it's not letting me. It's a little bit frustrating. Okay, there's my notebook anyway, so 
let's have a look. So I've learned a lot of different recipes, and I have at the uh, at the the fishing the fishing base where the little fishing hut is. That's um, if you've played this game, you'll know. That's where I've been setting up my bays actually. So I made one of these things, fireside wall, and it's it's extra good. It really is a good idea. So I might try to make the this, but the problem is I need the charcoal for any injuries because I'm low on charcoal now because I'm away from my base. Um, the road is in fact just across here. It's really not very far. So just follow the... I chopped down these leaves so I know where I am and I can find the road. So the road is just here, right? And I just chopped a tree down and hopefully I won't get it bitten by another centipede. Millipede, whatever they are. Uh, yeah, they just, they love to to attack you, particularly when you've got a stack of other problems. <laughs> so there we go, there's my four sticks that I need. And I've got rope and I just need two more logs. And then I can do a roof and I will have a save point. What I found that I really like I'll just make sure you can hear me now. That's crackling a bit, right? I'm letting it crackle because I'm going to turn it in that way. Now, down here is. Oh, oh yay, I've got it. Good. And, oh, some brief too. Well, that's going to get my health back up. So. Into that. I found this pond which not only has lily uh, that kills parasites, this here, excellent, so just collect those if you find them, but it's got the peacock bats which is really, you can just you know, hunt them with a spear it, and they're, they're the best, like one of the better fish to get anyway. That They're a good fish. They're kind of, the size is not too big for you to try and carry. And there's pl there's so many that it's plentiful. I don't know what this is down here. I did go for a little walk. But I mean, if I do go insane and the, the, the crazy guys come and try to attack me, if I can get up on this rock, generally they don't come up on rocks, I noticed. So I suppose that's what I'd be trying to do. Seeing if I can find a way to... No, it's not going to let me. I'll probably just end up getting tired. Uh, so I found this lovely little pond. That, you know, it's... Um, I don't know what's down here, but it's, it's a really good, really good little pond. Lots in it. We can go for a swim, let's see. Is there anything, a cave or anything? Nothing? Okay, there's nothing there. But we're definitely clean now. We went for a swim. <laughs> and if you get desperate, you can drink this water. It's unsafe. Uh, but you can actually drink it. Just don't drink dirty water if you can help it. <laughs> Just the un the unsafe is not too bad. I could kill this turtle, but I don't like killing turtles. Um, you can use the shell. I mean, it collects lots of water, but I can also make a water filter. And I was thinking of actually moving my base down here near the pond. Uh, so this is a my emergency shelter, so to speak, up here. This is the emergency shelter. Oh, I forgot again. Yep, I've done it to myself again. And Yep. And it's this. I don't know how I can destroy that. I think there's some way, you know, you need a torch or something and you can collect ants. But you know, I haven't managed to do that yet. Um, <laughs> there's lots of things that I haven't done. That's one of them. Generally, I just walk into them and they're very pesky and that's about it. <laughs> so... So here we are, back at my little temporary shelter that uh, needs another couple of logs. So let's go find a tree, cut the tree and do that. I also need to burn out this fire so I get ash. Because um, with ash, I am going to actually be able to... Uh, drink some water, how are we going? Yeah, I don't need the other one. 
Okay, so with Ash, I am going to be able to treat any wounds a little more effectively. So that makes a good bandage that helps to um, eliminate infection. Oh, oh, there we go. Let me just um, prove my point. So I just got bitten by a snake. Now an ash dressing would be, you know, would be helpful except that snake bites, you need a tobacco dressing. Now that, that is a problem, that little one there. Now, now where is it? Not the other one. There, okay, so um, I do have a dressing for that. I've got quite a few on me, so I can just insert that. And thankfully I have the lily flower. Now, the lily flower, you can just eat it as it is, and if you do, I believe it, um, I don't know if it kills parasites, but I've got a few of them now, so let's have a go. Let's eat it and see what happens. Minus, okay, food poisoning. All right, well, let's munch on a few things. Now I'm running a fever, I need a bone broth. Do I have, I have fish bones on me. I'm not sure if I can put those in there. Um, but yeah, this is the problem. I, it's death looped me again. I got out of the original death loop in that first stream. But now I'm death looped again. So all I did was walk down the road and around the corner and um, it started to go bad. <laughs> and that's in uh, Walk in the Park. Now in, I'm not actually doing King of the Jungle and um, on one, yeah, on another login, I'm doing a King of the Jungle, and I'm also doing on this one, uh, not King of the Jungle, the other one, um, Welcome to the Jungle, I think it is. So, yeah, so I'm trying the different levels, and I'm finding this walk in the park is not, as I said, it's not a walk in the park. So I'm going to go back and get that snake, but. Just in case of any issues, let's collect some stuff while it's daylight. Because that's your other problem. There we go. Um, I might be able to fit this. Let's tidy this up. Hmm. It was better the first time. Now, I, if I can put those into my um, into my soup, then I'll be fine. So let's just take this whole bird. I can hear something crawling around. I have trouble seeing spiders. I don't know. They're really hard to see. You don't kind of see them until they're, they're right on you, you know? Um, okay, this is what I need. This stuff. Okay, yep. Energy is coming back. Yay. I could just head back to my original base, of course. Um, this might not be a bad idea just to get myself straightened out. But I wanted to do like a little halfway base anyway. I thought I didn't expect to be doing it now. Uh, however, that's what's happened. I've just, you know, circumstantial. It's circumstantial that I've, I've ended up here and um, trying to make it, <laughs> make it work. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. So there's a fair few of these, but I do already have, let me see, uh, yeah, I've already got some, I might, well I can, let's craft, and we'll grab the other ones, can never have too many bandages in the jungle, you use them all the time, <laughs> I'm sure you people get, you know, awesome at avoiding things, I'm not, <laughs> not awesome at avoiding things. I tend to just run into stuff. Still, still, you know. This game, it's... Yeah. Other games, like, I seem to, seem to be better, but this game, I'm not. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you, I'm, I'm not great at um, staying away from trouble in this game. I get in trouble all the time. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. So, yeah, I've tried the different levels, and permadeath, I can get to four days, and... Then I do something silly, and that's that, you know. But I do get to the four-day mark. Now, here's the road. It's heading down here, and if I follow this, I'll probably end up back at my um, at my base. Doesn't want to... No, doesn't want to give it to me. Not sure how it uh, ended up that I can't access my map. I'm really 
I'm not sure. Anyway, we are 50-22, and it's going to get dark soon. See how thirsty I've got again? That's the fever. Oh, God, I'm thirsty. Yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Alright, let's just keep going this way. You're dehydrating, you're going to die. Of course. Oh, not again. I'm going to play Stage of Decay. I'm hitting the B button instead of the A button to dodge. <laughs> so, yes, there you go. Hit the A button if you want to dodge. <laughs> Let's go back in and get this water. Now, I do have water on me in my flasks. Um, so, that. there's not much I can do, really, other than just like collect sticks and um, try to heal myself. Um, I might just. Let's just drop that for now. Dead weight. Yeah, look at all my sticks. Okay. Pick the sack. Drop the sack. Um, at this stage, I'm not going to be bothered with making fancy little gizmos for holding sticks and what have we. I don't really think I need to just yet. Um, I can just peg them around the place. But this is just my temporary shelter anyway. I'm going to grab the sack and just drop it. I don't need to be carrying all of this stuff, but I will need this for building. So I will eventually want to sort this out. And I think it's a nice location for a halfway house. Now, if I could get my map to work, I'd be able to show you where I am. Um, okay. No. Hmm. See, that's not. Um. It's not showing. It's, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we're going. Uh, what else? I've probably got... No, that's, that's not good. Thirsty. I need to treat that with... Um, usually you put maggots on them. So... Okay, well that snake bite's healed. I just happen to have a bit of a fever, so... I definitely need to fix that, that issue. It's in the rain, but they're not feeling, so let me um, fix that issue as well. In here. And I'm about to drop them, it stops raining. <laughs> One, two, okie dokie. So, yeah, my guy's really tired. Um, I might just have to have a little nap. I think we'll just finish crafting these and then have a nap. But you can just die from poison, you know, if you don't just attend to it. Um, and this definitely needs to eat anyway. Right, I've got to make arrows as well, as you can see. And um, this will probably give me a parasite. Mm -mm. <coughs> okay, how are we looking? Oh, I need to do another one. Uh, what have I got there? I've got one there. Okay. Two parasites? Okay, no problem. Two parasites, no issue. I have an unknown mushroom. As long as I don't pick the wrong one. Right, look at that. Pick your stack. Oh, why are they going up there? Okay. Is it gone? It's gone. Alright, good, sorted. So those ones will fill up with a little bit of water, pure water, but yeah, it's just ridiculous and time to sleep. There's nothing more I can do right now. So hopefully I won't die of an infection, but you can see I've got that arrow saying that my health is dropping. So my health is dropping because I still have that infected wound God, and um, a drink. <sighs> yeah, haven't been able to uh, fix that up yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's it. <sighs> When you need one, not coconut inside, hey? All right. Nope, I'm not finding this. Uh, what about that? No, not that. Trying to figure out where on earth. It's not backpack. It's not that. Oh, there it is. 
<laughs> now there was a quick button as well. No, that's craft. Wait a minute. Map. What? What happened? Where's my map? Okay. I just apparently am not allowed to access that map. But if we get a parasite, it doesn't matter too much because I've got this. Um, I will in again. Um, what's my weight? It is 24. Probably a little heavy and we don't need all this stuff. Let's seriously. It's like you see and it's really hard. Like it rains all the time at the fishing base, right? The problem you're going to have there it rains all the time and then it just suddenly, depending on your season, it'll stop raining. Now I'm in day 45, day 46 maybe. So I've done a fair bit of building there, but um, not like, you know, I mean, I'm still learning with building in this game. So this game's quite new to me and I'm you know, just figuring out what I can do and what I, how to do different stuff, getting there, you know. <laughs> but I'm um, definitely not kind of mega powering ahead with it. Oh, not again. There he is. I'm going to keep jumping because I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> where, are, where is that snake? You could be dinner, snake. Where are you? Go on, rattle again. Ah, haha, I see you. <laughs> That's for biting me. So, anyway... need to go wash after this too. Now, if I go the other way, by the way, this um, there's water down here, but it's dirty water, okay? And there's also likely to be a crocodile down there. Uh, and there are piranhas, so I could set a fish trap out there too. I can also set a fish trap this way, and there is pure water in the other direction. So, uh, I think that I like the location. I think the location's good. I just think, you know, it's, um, yeah, see that it's, it's respawning some things for me. So if I do have an issue when I drink water down here, I can, in fact, oh, that guy just gave me a spite. I can, in fact, um, there, there's the ant's nest. Okay, let's remember that tree there. That's the rock and the tree. Dirty antis. Is that not a snake? You can't see at night either, unless you have a torch. And here's the thing with this game, mate. I can't figure out <laughs> how do you light a torch if you don't have a fire going? I, I don't know. That to me is a little baffling. But we'll move over here because we've washed. And let's just drink. No, bad idea. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. We are we're looking pretty good, so we have two parasites and I got enough to deal with it. Um so it's a measured experience, it's a a planned catastrophe. Do that. And of course we do have something back at base. I'm going to grab the mystery snails over here. Now if you're short on protein you can eat this directly. Um, you can eat it raw. And it doesn't usually hurt you too much. But he doesn't like it, but of course it would taste disgusting. It'd be like an oyster or something I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't be very nice. Alright. Let's get out of here. So I've just got one little gut parasite, which makes you hungry. Uh, so definitely, if you like hunting, you could hunt this. Like, you know, <laughs> the easiest way is to set a trap. Uh, you can learn how to do traps and set them. Now I haven't found another monster. I oh, no, no, that thing's poisonous. That flower is poisonous, but there's a. It's not a monsteria, I think it's a fruit. And if you get that one, that's not too bad. Uh, I can eat this mushroom only if you cook it, right? 
if you don't cook it, you might have a very bad time. <laughs> so, alright. Where have I ended up? We have a tendency to get a little bit left right there. Over here, I think. A rock. So, I have uh, done something and got myself lost. Did I climb up the other side? What have I done? Oh, there we go. I think I have to go up this way. Very easy to get lost in the jungle as well. Turn the wrong way and then there we are. I'm back. Turn the wrong way and it's just completely baffling, you don't know where you are. I'll keep that in case I need it. No need to harvest that just yet. Alright, we're good, nothing's attacking. I need to try to get ash out of this. So, we can get it started. I don't think it's raining. It'll rain the minute I get it started, for sure. <laughs> Bitch! Okay, burn it out and then we'll restart it. Meantime, I'm going to eat a mushroom. No! <gasps> oh, I hit the correct button that time. Did you see that? That's when you hit the A button. <gasps> a spider. Oh, not near my base. You horrible thing. How many are there? Is that another one? <laughs> Got one. I might have to put spider traps out. There's a little thing you can do. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't like spiders like in real life they freak me out but um anyway oh, I would never pick that up I'd get a stick and poke it maybe <laughs> that's about it but apparently this is useful for a bandage so you know what it's going to go there and I'm burning it that's what you're meant to do burn it <laughs> uh, I need ash out of here no, the water, it was the, the rain put it out. Okay, so I haven't even successfully burned out the fire. How frustrating is that? It's taking me way too long because I need to get that up. Right. And this is the, the problem I've had. I'm trying to get the mushroom and the game is trying to stop me by sending two spiders to attack me, not just one. There's another one. Just hissing at me. Well, just wandering along being its horrible spider self. I'm sure there's some people who like spiders, but I, I just, I'm, no. <laughs> Alright, can you see any more? Because I really don't need to get any more bites. I need to get on top of this situation. Oh, that's exactly what I need. Thank you, game. And that too. Bone infusion takes down your uh, fever, if you have a fever. So Now, we have to do a really disgusting thing. To fix this wound. Oh. Um, and then I will take a short break, because I, it, like, you know, a couple of moments, because I actually need to go and tend to... My kitty he wants to uh, go into the room and the door's closed. There we go. So we'll put those on there and that will help. My health is horribly low because of the infection. Okay. So the reason my health is low is that. That's not... It doesn't matter what else you do. If you have an infection, you're just not going to really come off well. Uh, it'll be very difficult to kind of get your health up at all. You have to eat a lot of meat. <laughs> seems to be the game seems to think that if you eat a lot of meat, you're going to be healthier. <laughs> Not fruit or vegetables or anything else, really. Meat. I <laughs> mean, you've got to have a lot of protein. That's the only way. And of course, you know, I chose this spot here amidst some kind of banana plantation and spiders like bananas. So 
what I might do is um have a look at what it takes to make that trap um so the traps uh, that I wanted to make one of those two is it over here where can I put you so this is my little area let's put it there that'll do okay so I need two long sticks let's get this thing going straight away and I need charcoal so that's what the one thing I'm going to have a problem with is uh, a couple of stones I might have those do I have stones? no okay we're going to collect some stones in the meantime there's water it takes a moment sometimes to to register this and that Okay, and I feel like the person is tired. But so I'm going to collect some charcoal, um, which means we just need to let the fireplace burn out regularly, and you just you know gradually a couple of stones, a couple of charcoals. <coughs> stones are not too hard to find. Um, you know we we need some rocks and things, and they're always wherever there's water, there should be stones. I tend to find them there. Let me see how I'm going. Yeah, we're going to need protein. I might chop this tree, then go down and get some water. And, um, and we'll also grab a stone or two. Do that because otherwise the little centipede comes and gets bites you. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's the other one. Oh no, he's in a bush. Oh, quickly, quickly. Is, it, is there a centipede on there? Uh, sounds like something. again I keep going the wrong way so I need to make markers on this road now I did clear I cleared a bunch of stuff and uh, when I logged back into the game everything was back everything I cleared had, had come back so these trees they just regrow like you wouldn't believe so I got rid of this stuff because I didn't want it there I wanted to be able to come here see a clearing directly to my um, little stopover base. Either way, you know, it's going to be in the other direction, but this is my emergency one. <laughs> my emergency stop. <laughs> now, let's see if I can get one more log and let's get this on the way. Uh, and I also discovered the. Uh, at the fishing base, there is. Um, there is a cave, right? And uh, in that cave, there's regularly some obsidian. So if you're wondering where on earth you could get obsidian if you're at that base, uh, yeah, I can I can show you that. I'm going to try to get back to base. So this is not actually my base. This is a halfway point for exploring, and uh, somewhere I can go to, you know, gather stuff and just gather resources. Because you do burn out your resources wherever you are. That's one thing that happens. Okay. Lots of sticks. Uh, hmm. So I know there's a there's a spawn point there for the spiders as well. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. There's the ant hill. Okay. And I guess I just have to uh, do this so I can see my way. That's what gets confusing. You go around trees and turn around the rock, and the next thing you know, you don't know where you are. You're like, <laughs> now what? <laughs> okay, so 
So we've got a little path and you can follow the dead leaves, which <laughs> works for me anyway. So we wash. Head over this way and have a drink. Oh. Not spawning parasites. Got away with it. Fantastic. Okay. Now I am going to, while I have some energy, grab a little bit of dinner. Double shot? Oh, come on, that was two. <laughs> Only giving me one fish. <laughs> Did I get him? Yes! Oh, come on. Just harvest. If you can't fit it, you can just harvest it. And um, it'll go into... Kind of a bit messy, isn't it? So, yeah, I could harvest that too. It will give me a little bit more. Um, I can make more space there as well. Now, I do have to fill these up while I'm here. So, the thing with the water filter that I'm making is that you need uh, about four flasks of water, about four of these coconut um, flasks of water to get it going. Well, you can you get it going with one, but to fill it, you know, to fill it is, uh, you need a bit more. Ah, oh, well, we'll just destroy that. Okay, it looks like I need to get back and, and eat the meat. The rattlesnake meat does not last. It really just doesn't last at all. Um, we needed rocks, if I'm not wrong. So, I think I'll find a rock. There's a mystery cell. And grab some of those while I'm here. They respawn constantly, so if you see them, get them. Don't worry about them maybe not being there. Okay, I don't want to fall asleep in this pond. Once he says I need to rest, you have a limited amount of time to get anywhere <laughs> before you just fall on the ground helplessly asleep. And um, this is what happened, you know, he fell on the ground one metre from his own bed. And, uh, I just thought, what a loser. Like, well, come on. <laughs> Surely you would actually, you know, make that <laughs> that extra. <laughs> You'd just, like, push through, right, wouldn't you? You'd push through. You'd be like, okay, <laughs> it's not far. Let's just, oh, one more step, one more step, and you'd make it. You'd make it happen, but not this guy. No, nope. this guy just, he, he likes dying. He just wants to die all the time. <laughs> So, uh, okay, now I can see my way back. There we go. Clearing some things definitely helps. I don't have enough energy to keep clearing stuff, so we're just going to have to go. Uh, too bad we're sleeping in the rain with a dead spider. Fabulous. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, you can sleep for the full amount of time because, yeah, you're not well. <laughs> Right, we have collected a little bit of water here, so yeah, that's cool. And I have one coconut. Also cool. I can take that. I can harvest that and resolve any. Oh, look at the fats. Yes, definitely. Um, oh. Do a little jig, so I can resolve this problem right now. Okay, and that takes us to, oh, that's not very far. Well, it's better than nothing, right? It's better than nothing. Why does it do that? I, I do not want to go to sleep. I do want to get rid of my watch for a second. Okay, um, I have these nut things, unknown nuts. Surely once you uh, have found it, it would have a name. <laughs> but apparently it doesn't. Um, I'm going to eat the unknown mushroom, reason being that it actually will be um, a bottom mushroom <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> and uh, we are looking great on hydration and reasonable on the others. I mean, nah, that's not too bad. I still didn't find a rock, so I'm going to have to go looking. Uh, we are over near a rock, and hopefully 
And there's probably some sort of critter that wants to come and bite me. <coughs> Ooh, look what I found. I found the energy mushrooms. If you ever find these, they are, uh, watch my energy levels, uh, the second bar there, when I eat that. See that? Give you health and energy. Okay, now I did say I would go and tend the, the kitty, and I am going to do that right now. I've made her wait a little, so, um, okay. I'll be back. Hi there, so I am back. Um, let's put this back on. Right, okay. I'm hoping that this is coming out okay. Uh, I know that I do have the, the game sound up quite loudly, so I'm not sure how well you can actually hear me speaking in this. Um, I don't have any way to check at this point, but... Excuse me, just have a bit of a, a drink of my coffee. I'm actually having coffee in the evening. Um, which I do because I, I was cleaning and I breathed some dust and I don't do so well with dust because I tend to get you know separate <coughs> allergies uh, but I sort of feel like I can't breathe as well and um, so yeah so I have coffee because coffee opens up your bronchial tubes you can look that up but yes I did study natural therapies I do have some knowledge, <laughs> uh, but some of the things in here I, I'm not too sure about. <laughs> uh, they're more bear grills. <laughs> bear grills is um, bear is uh, you know he's that this survival expert guy. <laughs> right, let's get this going. Oh goodness, well, he does all this kind of stuff, right? And I have watched a few just just out of interest when I started playing this game. I thought. You know, I didn't play it for a while because I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm into the whole jungle thing, we'll see. You know, it might not be my vibe, but I decided I'd have a go at it. And it's it's actually surprisingly good. Like, I really do enjoy this game. Uh, it's hard, and I, I won't kid you on that. Look, some of the, the, the guys that play it, and, and women too, some of the women that play this online, and um, and of course, you know, any gender any gender. I'm going to go across genders, any gender, it doesn't matter who you are. Um, some people are, are going to just naturally be better at it and uh, yeah, others have more experience with the game so I've only just started and uh, I am learning from others. I don't watch an extensive amount of things but I do try to learn you know from from people that I watch just little things that I see that I didn't know, you know, that uh, small things. There were things I had to look up. I had to look up um, 
how to simple things like how to pour water into the coconut um, and how to um, how to fill my flask uh, how to place items in the fireplace and all this and uh, to be careful that you can't put any like if you're not careful you will accidentally this is about to to conk out but anyway this thing may as well just finish it off not waste it come on but if you're not careful Come you'll on. put your fire out and it just for some reason it randomly does it it is so frustrating especially if you're running low on resources <laughs> uh okay so that's gonna burn out i'll get my stuff so i want six sticks two three four five six no it's not gonna let me have it but i will have my plank and I do have small sticks, I think, somewhere. Here we go. So we're going to look at the trap. Haha, <laughs> that's right. I think I've got just enough. And hopefully that burns out and I can do get my ash. So I'd like to get started on that. Now this Brazilian wandering spider, a cooked spider. Oof. Um, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> You don't even want it in my backpack. Yuck. But I, I have to have it, so uh, well. How's our hydration going? Great. So what I can do is start filling in the meantime. Um, do I have an empty one? Or are they all full? Okay, they're all full. Yeah, see rattlesnake meat, it just doesn't last. So if you are going to eat that pesky snake that bit you on the leg, Oh good, yes, I do want that. Now, aha, another trick. I'm kind of skipping, I'm skipping. I was going to say something and I've, I've skipped it. I'll come back to it. <laughs> That's right, the trap, the spider trap. We're going to, like, the spider is definitely going to see its, its end. Okay, so what we can do is harvest and that will give us ash. If you need an ash dressing and for a wound because it stops bleeding. So if you get bitten, by um, a caiman, a crocodile, or a, um, well they're not crocodiles, they're, they're caimans, but if you get bitten by one or um, uh, attacked by a wildcat and you, your the puma um, or a jaguar, um, you'll bleed out, right? You've got to put an ash uh, dressing on it. So, to get the ash, because you'll only get one per fireplace, okay? So what you've got to do is you'll get three charcoal, you go harvest. Alright? So there's a selection there, take or expand. Now if you eat if you take the charcoal, you get say you get food poisoning from accidentally and uh, who hasn't done this who's played this game? <laughs> really, you know, when you're whizzing through you can accidentally eat something you're not supposed to. And um, actually just hit a button by accident and the next thing you know you have food poisoning. So <laughs> um, charcoal will get rid of it. So I'm just going to take that one. Okay, and uh, let's, let's make another little fireplace. But we need to try to finish this uh, cover over our heads because otherwise, you know, we've got to get a roof going here. Um, so I've got all this stuff I can do now. The mud mix is pretty easy. You need ash again. You need to have lots of ash for that because you need ash to mix with the mud uh, to make mud bricks. Pottery table I haven't made yet. Uh, I haven't made those things yet. Um, mud shower I'm keen to do. I think it's always good to have your, a proper shower. So a stone trap. Now I think that's what you make to kill spiders. I think maybe <laughs> so we've got the fish trap the small fish trap you still need 27 sticks the large fish trap that is a you know it's a bit of a bother I like the um, the storage box that's a really good thing and here's all your little stands that you can make so you can set them up around the place and then you just have to like put the um, put the, the, the stuff in there so you can go, okay, there's a long stick stand we're going to put. Um, we can make a pathway, actually. That, I'm 
to figure out where it is. Where did I come from? There we go. I was making it this way. So past this log here. So let's just start start going. Okay, we'll put the we'll put it down over here somewhere. Maybe and just make it like a little walkway of of uh there. It can go there. And if I leave it white, I can find my way. <laughs> Do I have to fill it? <laughs> you know, it's actually pretty good to having it like that because then it's white and from a distance I can see it. Um, so it helps me to find my way back to my location. There should be a better way to create a signpost. I don't know how to do that just yet. So yeah, so I'm still, you know, I'm still learning a lot of stuff in this game. And that's the thing with it, you know, you will, you will be learning things for quite some time. Uh, okay, that's a stick one. I want to go to long sticks, logs, and I want the small sticks. Uh, the small sticks can just go here. We just pop them all together. And it looks like I need one for keep an eye on my energy levels. I definitely want ropes. A stand for ropes. We can put the stand for ropes just there. So now I'm getting closer to the road. Um, as I'm coming along the road, if I leave them like that, I can see that. That's what. That's the idea, anyway. I think we can make a little pathway of stuff and. <laughs> I wish they'd just stay white and glowing. Can I, I? I should be able to grow those those glowing mushrooms because that would be perfect for making a path. Can you imagine a little uh, like um, they're like little solar lights or something? <laughs> I can do this straight away anyway. So I can take that in there. Um, I've got a few things I can use. So I was going to make another fireplace. Let's get that on as well. There's always so much to do. That that's the thing. It's, it's a very it's very heavy on getting stuff done. This game. You've got to you know constantly do things just to keep keep yourself afloat until you get to a certain point. Actually, once you get to a certain point, you're fine. But until that point, you are very busy doing. Ah, I did have enough. There we go. And do I have... I ate my coconuts, so I should be able to pop those in. Insert. And insert that one. While I am still aware of it, let's go craft this before it becomes a problem. And I should check on that wound. It seems to still be hanging around. So if we craft this, and there we go. Maybe if I put an ash dressing onto my wound, I do have one more ash, and we'll craft it. So I have a couple of ash dressings. Now I feel a whole lot better just having those. Um, at this stage, I can't save until I get a reef on this place. Uh, I don't like those little tent shelter things, but I mean, you can make them. I just prefer this because it goes over the top of your campfire so you just put a leaf bed and it's quick to make a leaf bed. Uh, okay. So that is about to die and but do I have if I forget? Nope, I need to make some sticks, so let's just harvest. If you don't have small sticks you can harvest one of those and you'll get three. Okay, now I have that. I can make a better hand drill. I'm going to destroy this and let's make a fresh one. So craft. I need that and I need a small stick and then that gives me a hand drill. Good. So I need to put something in those. There's, there's always something, you know. You <laughs> Just constantly in and out of this uh, this backpack like that you wouldn't believe. You must wear out the zipper. <laughs> and it's 
Sunny! Hooray! Which means I can get this fireplace going. Let's do that. Alright. Now hopefully this is still clear. I have had a few problems, as I said, with my lead, with the connection being- Oh! Burning my hands. <gasps> oh dear. I was distracted wiggling my lead then. I'll do the next one, right? <laughs> oh, you've got burnt hands. <laughs> okay, let's see how this is going. Ooh, this is good. Let's, um, let's whack the ash dressing on and see if that helps. So if I put an ash dressing, will it let me? It will not allow me to put an ash dressing on. And I did have some maggots in here, I can't see them. Okay, it looks like I'll have to go looking for them again. But I do have water. Uh, where's that dressing I just got? Here it is. It's banned. No, I don't want to destroy it. I do not take it. But anyway, oh! What happened to it? Oh no, is it raining? There, see? Cue the rain. Unbelievable. Barely get started and the rain is here. Rain is here again. But I might be able to do this and just solve this problem now. I've got all my resources. So gathering resources is a big thing and a slow, annoying part. But once you've got a bunch of stuff, um, you just go gather, 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 and once you've got your bunch of stuff, <coughs> you can make things for quite some time. Just walk around just making things. <coughs> oh, something's chasing me. <coughs> Get away from me. Is that a centipede? A centipede just chased me around the place. So, yeah, I have uh, low proteins and low fat again. Um, <coughs> yeah, definitely. <coughs> yeah, my guy, he likes to jump. He gets very excited when he finds things. <laughs> I try to pick things up and he jumps in the air like a <coughs> loony, like that. <laughs> I don't know what his issue is. <laughs> So it's like a, a jumping jack. Maybe I should just call him Jack because he's a, a jumping jack. <laughs> oh, come on. Can I get this thing going, please? <laughs> Let's have another go. Yeah, before... Look, see what it's doing? Now my meat has spoiled. And it's doing this on purpose. It's actually... It's trying to... I don't know what... I harvested that and I don't know what I got from it. Bones? I wonder. I've never harvested one before. Spoiled meat? No. Nope. <laughs> but it's it, it hasn't got me entirely because I can use that. So there we go. And I've got a bone broth. Um, maybe it'll help. I'm not sure. All right. Try again. A game that doesn't let you light fire. Well, keep a fire lit. So I suppose, I mean, it's a bit annoying because it's a game, right? But, I mean, you would expect that in real life. You'd try to find... Why is it not letting me... Huh? Come on. Come on, dude. Come oh, on. Alright, that took three for some reason. I'm not sure why. Where are the other, where are the other ones? I guess the idea is that um, the idea is that okay, well you're not going to get every time, get it every time because sometimes it's just not going to work. Now this mushroom is about to go up. Oh, there's my. Uh, now I find them. Ah, just when I need to be cooking and eating, and I hope I don't die of infection in the meantime. But, uh, Try to recover some health here. Some soup. 
And in the meantime, uh, you just drag and drop into the that container, but never in the middle, not even not by accident. Be like wiggle it all the way around the outside if you have to, because it's just not worth it. <laughs> Putting your flower out constantly is nothing but a problem. Now I think the lily, if you make a drink with the lily flower, it's minus five food poisoning. I think that's pretty good. It's, uh, it's very, it gets very difficult to choose things on the Xbox with the, the controller. So fiddly. Now you can drink that. The mystery snail soup will give you four proteins, ten hydration, one energy. Not bad. Okay, it's um better than just drinking plain water. The lava will also larvae will also give you a um, a boost. Problem is, uh, you've got to sit in front of the fire for a while because it can it can create a minus uh, two sanity. I think it is. So looking a little bit better. Let's have a look at our stats. Yeah. Gotta find something for fats. Carbs are fine, water's fine, protein's not too bad. Okay, so we've pretty much resolved the up oh, there we go, it's raining again. Um which means you know hydration uh, and you, what you can do is where you're empty can you find one? That one, one was empty, there's an empty one. Pop it in there. And it should give you ten per time if it's if you leave it for a moment to fill up. Um, with the rainwater, you'll get about ten. So that's twenty hydration right there. Okay, and uh, I'll just come back to it, and those will be. Oh, there we are. Um, it's probably only got about two or three at the moment. So now I did finish that, didn't I? So what I need to do now is put a roof on. So I'm so busy trying to survive, just trying to live, that it's really hard to get anything else done and focus on anything else. And that it is essentially one of the big issues. So four long sticks, four rope and three logs. I don't think I have the energy to do that. So let's have a look. Um, bamboo sticks, rope, bamboo logs. At this stage, no, no. Uh, palm leaves, I have a stack of them around. So I can go for palm leaves. So 16 of those. I'm going to select the palm leaves. It's the easiest thing just to cover my head right now. Uh, and I think I have them here. Yep, there's one already. So we can get started. I dropped a bunch here. So uh, the only thing is the critters love to live in palm leaves. And they particularly like to bite you on the arm. Come on. Oh. There we go. Okay. Do another one. <coughs> Alright. So I should be able to, after doing this, hopefully, just pick them up and I like, get in five, a pile of about five. <coughs> without a centipede attacking me. Let's have a look. See if my theory works. <laughs> Thankfully I haven't been attacked by any like wild cat or anything like that. <laughs> Those big cats are pretty much the end of me at the moment. Unless I get a good shot, but I mean, I scare them off. They don't eat me, <laughs> but uh, usually they get me when I I don't have an ash bandage, <laughs> so I just end up dying. Uh, so I always have a save. That's a way you can save if you're in a permadeath too, I guess. I think you can exit and save. You best hope, you know. <laughs> uh, if you're stuck somewhere and you don't have a shelter, exit and save. <laughs> At least you've got to save. So the game is a little forgiving. Oh, 
a lot of days. Oh, I need to rest again. Barely does anything and he's tired. Come on. Really, so, some of those. Get some bananas. Hopefully no spiders emerge. How's that? Well, I probably wasted one of those, but I'll just grab the last one. Let's see any spiders. So you can turn spiders off in this game. If you don't like spiders, you can actually <gasps> just turn them off in the settings. Oh, can't I grab any more? Oh, okay. Never mind. That's fine. So, um, can I pick those up? Yes. Good. <gasps> more sticks. I shall chuck in there. I think I grabbed all my small sticks though. So, I at least have my stand. And I think I saw one more long stick down here somewhere, so we should probably grab it. Uh, that will give me a long stick if I cut it down. Oh, what am I hearing? This little thing is crawling around the place. I thought there was one more long stick. Um, see how this is all going back? Okay, I'll cut all this down. It's really annoying. Getting tired and not wanting to run. Um, <coughs> give me a, give me a long stick or a small stick. Oh, here we go. Here's the rest of them. Uh, because I'm tired, it's probably going to spawn and to try and kill me. But let's give it a go. Two, three, four. Which I have many I need, actually. Um, so I'd like to put a, some sort of sign here. I'm not sure how to do that at this stage. I don't think I've got the recipe for it yet. I don't think I've, I've figured out the plans for that. <laughs> okay, the sooner we get this roof on, the better. Not only can I save my game, which is good, but I can in fact. So let's do that before it gets any worse. Day 46. So that's saved and um, we can just have a, a good, good old map. And if I happen to die in my sleep, at least we've got a save point. <laughs> Go back and try to save myself. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. We're inside. Now I do have this I can a fire going and start solving my problem. Unsafe water because it makes clean water when you do that. And add water. And we'll focus on getting a water filter here. It's worth it. That turtle will be our bowl. <laughs> Sorry, turtle. <laughs> you do have another purpose in life. Um, okay. But yeah, the turtle's gonna have to is gonna have to be our bowl. <laughs> Uh, now I don't think this is going to give us much, really. But it's a brew and it's healthy, so let's see what it does. There we go. That's an energy. What is that? Uh, Ten hydration and cooking plus one. All right, well, there you go. So you get some points for doing that. 
And if I sit in front of the fire for a while, it's okay as far as the, um... Oh, whoops. Empty. Oh, okay. Fair enough then. That'll do. A bone infusion, always a good thing. Uh, I wonder if the fish bones work though. You know, if I go pick a stack, can I put that in? I wonder. Yeah. Why would you? I mean, that's bone. If it doesn't let you, you have to have one of these great big bones here. But if you're looking really unhealthy and you have a bone, make a bone infusion. It's worth it. Uh, the lava soup's not too bad. It's I can go down and get a fish, but look at my health. It's pretty bad, so I can't really handle... <coughs> the character can't handle being bitten by anything else right now. <laughs> so we'll have this bone infusion, which is going to help. And the lava soup. And put on... Something onto this wound. That wound is still a problem, and I do have some, um, some maggots put on there. Sounds disgusting. Thing, but you know what? It works. So I can pick those and um, put them. You can't see it, it's at the base of my screen. There they are working now. And you can tell by the little hand that's bandaged up that something's going on. So that wound is not healing very well. That's a bit of a problem, really. But since I got to that stage, let's um, save again. I'm going to save frequently now to get back on track. And uh, I'd really like to uh, build away from where all the spiders are. <laughs> but yeah, catch... Uh, move, move the, the base essentially down there. So I mean, that could be a crafting area. I mean, aside from the mud stuff, that could be a crafting area. So, uh, hmm. Because you're going to need mud, and the mud is down there. Okay, well I do have a few leaves in the path here. I can drop them, and just that way I know where my base is, because I've got a couple of leaves hanging around. I think that's not, not a bad idea. Uh, there's this little tree coming up. So we, we're starting to get a, a bunch of bushes that are uh, taking over again. I also cleared all of these. And if you... So, it's not pointless doing this because when that uh, sits either under shelter, so you can drop it somewhere, or in your backpack, it gradually dries out and gives you dry leaf. And when you have dry leaf, um, it's very good for starting the fire. So, the, the dry leaf is useful, you know? I'm going to get rid of those. And um, I'm going to just drop this stuff near the fireplace. So anytime I come here, I have dry leaf hanging around. So it doesn't look very dry, does it? <laughs> but it actually it works. You know? Oh, yep, okay. Put my hand. Where's the hand? There. Uh, okay. And my dry leaf is here. I can go pick my stack and just drop them there. And um, that, that'll create some nice little dry leaves for me to light the fire any time that I need to. In the meantime, we can get this going too. Now let's get a little bit more of this on. Get some more clean water. Since we don't have our water filter just yet, it's going to take a little bit of time to get that together. So. Um, but we need to let need to let this dry, this burn out. The fire has to burn out a few times. That way you'll get your uh, charcoal. Now I did have a piece of charcoal, didn't I? So I could put one piece of charcoal in. I need three pieces and I need some stones. I think it's just a, a small stone. So we can go looking around here for stones. There are stones that I've seen. Hmm. Where did I see them? Oh yay! Well, always a good idea to eat my things, but yeah, look, see, it's keeping my cards up. 
Okay. You see them, eat them, or take them, one or the other. But they do go off in your bag, so you don't want to be like wandering around too long without using them. Get some more of this. Oh, can I? No. Hmm. That's an ant's nest. No, it's not. It's a oh, it's a rock. No ant's nest, just <coughs> a rock. Hmm. What else are they hiding in this jungle? Ooh, that's the unknown fruit. Now I can use that. a banana for energy. There we go. Now I can take my unknown food. <laughs> Makes a nice little brew. Okay, there we go. Now I'm, oh no, it's not a stone. Teaser. The game's a teaser, that's what it is. <laughs> Look like a stone. So it's a rock or a stone, and I need a stone, which means I have to break down a rock. Something like that. And there's nothing! But I'm on the path. Hopefully I will find something. Is that over there? I need to go filling up my flasks anyway. Oh, look! I found myself a <coughs> coconut. And we can drink and harvest that straight away anyway. Okay. Now, what is in the way? Okay, I don't get why I cannot fit a coconut in there. Surely. Oh, giving me water too. Thank you, coconut. I was looking for a rock, wasn't I? Of course. Where there's a coconut, there's two more usually. Oh no, now I'm stuck in there, please. Um, hmm. There we go. Okay. to take those coconuts. <coughs> Ooh. Hard to see. What's that? Animal droppings. Probably mm, okay. some fertilizer. that just yet. <laughs> ah. Okay, um. Hmm. I can actually eat those because they're going to go off. They really don't last that long. I can take you. And again, see how hard it is to see that there's even a trail here because of all this stuff. So yeah, it's worth just coming along and um, you know, just attacking that because you get the dry leaves for yourself anyway. It's not a big pile of them. <gasps> that was dead on. What happened? <laughs> Try again. This one's stuck fast. <laughs> Got it. I go get my mystery snails again. Starting to get somewhere with this. Uh, wow, it's just the jungle really does take over. 
in this game, the one thing I can say that I think is pretty cool is that, you know, they don't muck around that the jungle grows, right? In almost like a real time, it grows and it, uh, because it rains and things sprout and it, it starts taking over. It starts taking over things. So you have to, you have to try to clear your path and make markers or, you know, if you've got a very good memory, then you may may know where you are. But uh, I tend to get lost very easily in these games, so I like to m leave markers for myself so I know where I am. I have a mystery snail. Thank you. Is that what I think it is? I hope that's a pig, not a cat. Oh, it's a pig. Thank goodness. Fish, some fish for dinner, for breakfast, whatever time of day it is. Now they suddenly oh. got it. Otherwise, you, you try to pick one that's not been waiting too long because otherwise they flitter off. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a nice place. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out exactly where near this pond, but I mean, it, it is pretty nice. Uh, Oh, wait a second, I've got a fever. Just, just noticed. Okay, well I do have lily flowers, so let's go back and fix that fever. It's kind of nasty, isn't it? There's the ant's nest. Just there. Oh, not burnt out yet. Okay, only a little way to go. And I do have food, so I might start uh, whacking some of this food in. And obviously the fish bone, I know there's a use for it, but uh, it's not particularly useful to me ex right at this moment. better and why on earth maybe it's this is that still oh it's looking nasty isn't it yeah I didn't find any more of the maggots for that so unfortunately um, if I have a look they might have respawned if I'm lucky I think it was over here somewhere but yeah no no more that's all the game is going to give me at this point in time. It is going to give me some bananas, however, and probably a couple of spiders. Right, so... Round and round we go. Uh, what do I need exactly? I'll have to have a think about what I need. And just grab whatever I can. Why is that not running me short? I must have. Now, a lily flower will not take down fever, will it? So, no, that's no good. Oh, what's that this fruit infusion thing? It says empty. I don't know why that's not. It's not activating for some reason. Yeah, I see. Having some weird moment. Clean water, unsafe water. I think that. There we go. Okay. This is lots of energy. That fruit is good. 
really good. Um, okay, empty, empty, unsafe water. I've got some special water. And how did that? I didn't put it in there. Did you see me put that in the middle? I put it in here, and for some reason, it also put out my fire. I have no idea why. So that's the strangeness that you do all this. But for some reason, the game likes to put your fire out. Ah, okay, well, do I have... Ooh, I, and do I have dry leaf? So I don't have my dry leaf yet. Okay, I'm having a moment. So if you don't have any dry leaf, this is the thing you can do, okay? There is, there is something. You're not, you know... All is not lost. Look for it's a fern that has kind of a brown leaf coming off it. Not that one. It's got a thick stem. If you find that fern, chop it down and you'll get a um a dry leaf out of it. Okay, so Oh, here we go. Oh Hello dinner. Hiding in a bush, huh? Trying <laughs> to ambush me. Make sure you're dead. Yeah, a bit of a problem with the uh, with the this infection that I just can't seem to lift and you're seeing me try um, yeah very difficult I need to find another another animal with more critters on it and uh, or for them to actually respawn need to rest. yeah I need to rest uh, good, huh? let's, see, let's, try to, let's just grab all these mushrooms and head back and you see I need water so, not only do I... Oh, I've got ants. I just walked into an ants' nest. And welcome to the dilemma that is this game. <laughs> you basically just go from one crisis to another when you get in this deathloop thing. So I'm not helping myself by forgetting that that's there, though. I do take the time for that. Okay, there we go. So, how are we going? Water-wise, we need to drink. I don't seem to have a problem over here. Let's do it again. Oh. 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 Two parasites and I've got the mushrooms to fix it, so that's okay. So my stats are pretty good. All I have to do is eat a coconut or two and um, I should be getting pretty much back on track. There it is. Oh. Thank you, pig. So the animals create stuff. Did you see that? The little pig went over, sniffed the log, and when he sniffed the log, or she, um, the mushrooms emerged. And I've noticed that in this game, that the little animals run around and actually uh, spawn things for you in the game. And I'm not kidding. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> so don't, don't kill them. If they're around your base, do not do not hunt them. <laughs> Um, because they'll respawn stuff. So only hunt the ones away from your base a bit. Yeah, that's my suggestion, unless you're desperate. But yeah, they do respawn stuff for you. Just keep that in mind. They're useful. Not just for dinner. <laughs> okay, now I do need, need to, to rest. burn this fireplace out. Oh, I haven't got the energy. Not enough energy to light a fire. Not even to take my mushrooms. Once it gets like that, you fall asleep and that's the end of it. Um, so I need to take my little mushrooms as clean as I can. Here we go. Do that. Do that. And now my parasites are gone. Um, I heard a spider hanging around. So if you happen to see it doing well, I don't know where it is. What I do know is that I need to get um, I don't have charcoal and I, I've 
And have you noticed how the game is definitely trying to knock me out? Of, you know, trying to make me give up. That's what it does. It tries to drive you so barmy that you just pack it in and go, I can't stand this game. <laughs> Not that you don't want to play, but, you know, that you just end up deleting and starting again, deleting and starting again. Because, uh, you know, you get into these death loop situations and it, the game does everything it can to take away what you need to survive. So I need rocks, right, to make this filter. Do you think I could find a rock even on a rock? And there's no way to use a pickaxe on a rock. It doesn't let you do it. So you have that to deal with. So just be ready for that to occur. That, okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I do have my other solution, which is here. I've dropped down my little coconuts. And um, oh, there it is. Look, see how close that is to me. Where did it go now? Ooh, oh, you horrible little thing. Right. <laughs> I hope I get too close to bite me. Ooh. Yuck. Oh, Brazilian wandering spider. Oh, you horrible thing. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, spiders are scary. I don't like spiders. <laughs> More spiders. I, I don't know. Not all spiders. I can't. I can't be. You know, across the board. Big spiders. Big hairy spiders. I do not like. We have a spider called the white tail spider. He is particularly nasty. Um, so, I the character now has the energy to uh, to get this going. But do I have? Yes, there we go. So you, all those leaves I had in my um, inventory are now a dry leaf. And for some reason, like, it's making me pick and place. It's really, normally you can just hit insert. I don't know why. Right, so I'm trying, if you're wondering, I'm not going to top this up because I need the charcoal. So I'm trying to burn out this fireplace and it's become such a difficult thing to do. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Okay, uh, can I can have rattlesnake meat. Yes, I said I promised that rattlesnake that it would be dinner, so I didn't promise I just told that it would be. And it is! Okay, so that's going to at least bring some energy back. Uh, now, mystery snail is always good. And, oops. Empty. Yeah, I couldn't even go and fill this up, could I? That's the other thing. Now, do you see how I didn't place that? But the minute I went to pick it, it put my fireplace out. Is it raining? Is it me or is it the rain? And see, I'm. My fireplace is undercover. So the game did that to me just then. That's one of the issues I'm having. The game is doing stuff like that to me where, okay, I didn't do that. That was. I did not make that action. <laughs> However, the game decided that it was time to put out my fireplace because I was starting to get better. So, uh, apparently. The game just wants you to die, no matter what, and that—that's the whole thing, you know. That the AI is trying to kill you. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm not paranoid. <laughs> it really is. It really is. It's part of it, right? Part of the game. So the AI will try and kill you. But you know what? There's always a way. You just have to be determined. And uh, not let it do that. And the other thing that it did to me is it stopped me from... It did that on purpose to stop me from getting my cut charcoal. So I can't make my water filter because it's not letting me get charcoal. Now, those ones that I dropped early, you can see I now have some dr dry leaf sitting by my fireplace right here. Okay. If I ever need it, I've got it. It's right there. I can't get the one in the bed though. Can't let me grab that. Ah, something else to note. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of little things in this game that... Yeah, it gets fiddly with the controller, but it's a very... Okay, once you get good at it, you're okay. Uh, it's just a little fiddly when you're first trying to learn. To angle things and, and all the rest. You get to kind of drive you a bit crazy. How are we going there? I do need fat, so I had a coconut. I can eat that and I will have more of my little coconut. Um, water catches. So just drink and it's not worth and we'll just harvest. So then I've got a you know emergency water right close to my where I'm sleeping. So if I am going to build this nice little house by the pond, which I want to, um, this will be my my temporary little place that I'll be sleeping in the meantime. So I'll just come back up here because I've got everything here. Uh, yeah. It's really no big deal to because once you if you break something down you get resources back. The game is good like that, it gives you your stuff back. So uh, yeah, you don't have to worry, you, you just, you'll get your things back. Um, okay, I can really start filling up one of my parts anyway. I might as well. So let's just grab one and do this. So if it rains, you want to make the most of it. I have 14. I have 14. I thought I had more. 24. Where's the other one? Okay, start again. How about 34? Almost there, almost full. Pour in. I want the pick up command, not the pour in command. 40. Yay, okay, so at least I have one that's full. And that's all I need uh, to get things going. Is that empty? Yep. Yeah. Let's get this one done as well. So yeah, when it rains you can make the most of it by doing this. Until that's it, because it's only nine. There's one more. So apparently this spider makes a really effective bandage of some description. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, I'm not sure if it's any good on what I've got. But let's see what I can do with this thing. Uh, yeah, let's straighten this out. I need to sort my items out. I don't know why it wants to do that. Um, so if I go expand, drop, destroy, eat, do I eat? I don't think I want to eat it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, try crafting, I guess. I can go a leaf bandage with the spider. Mm. You want to let me do it? And. It won't let me do anything, so... Oh, it says it's spoiled. Oh, no. Um, spoiled. I, I want it burned, not spoiled. Oh, I think I wrecked it. Okay, so I didn't cook it for long enough. So basically you've got to... Yeah, okay. <laughs> My error there. It's... Yeah. Rather than just cooking it, you've got to actually burn it entirely. That's right. So it has to be burned, and once it once it's burned, it can be used as something. Okay. Well, I'll. There's another one hanging around. Where is that? Mm, there it is. It's not dead yet. We can go in the fire and let's see what I, what I can make from that. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh... Hmm. I need to find out what to do with these fish bones. I kind of wish it would tell you things, you know, like that. Uh, that would be good, a good addition, I think, that, um... If you could just hit a Y button and it would say your options for crafting with this are and you can have a look at them, you know, that really would help. Uh, is it? No, it's going to do the silly thing again. So I just wasted one. Bitch! I think it's putting it into the fireplace, not into my... Yeah, not into, uh, not into that. So I'm not touching it, I'm going to let it burn out. Um, I'm getting paranoid because every time I go near it that the, the AI puts out, it puts out my fire. Now I want it to go out on its own because that way I'll get the charcoal and I get ash as well. I'm not going anywhere near the water. I'll eat some mushrooms. I need oh, I'm good. I just need, um, fats. Still really, really. I'm oh, just in case of any doozies here. I'm so close to actually getting my charcoal. Um, there we go. Okay, it should go out now, and I'll get my charcoal and my ash. Yes. Now we're in business. Yay! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh. Okay, that's my charcoal done. So now I have, um, I need to find two stones. Of all things, just two stones. That's it. With a rock, or like here, and a rock there, you'd think I'd find something. Not a single stone has spawned. <coughs> With all these rocks around, nothing. <coughs> ah, however, I do have my wonderful glowing mushrooms that give us energy. i happy to like grow those mushrooms because they they would make an excellent like little lights along the path. They're just, you know, they're great for that. Now, that's not the one. Hmm. You have to look around a bit, but yeah, there is a palm, but like I said. And it will, in fact, give you dry leaves straight off the bat. And if you do this, you get uh, something fibre, I think. Chopping down a... Uh, oh yes, I'll take the tobacco. Um, chopping down a palm tree will give you uh, a fibre as well, I think. So clearly, because I'm in the bananas here, I'm going to have to go and put out some traps. And that's what I'm going to look up. So let's look up before I forget. And let's have a look. That. How do we do that? So we've got animal traps. A fish tra trap, a large fish trap, a stone trap. It's the only one I know of. And I need to rest. I think I need a cage. I need a small cage. In memory. Mm. I've got a bow trap. <laughs> mm. Alright. Well, we're running out of energy yet again, so... Not a bad idea. To just get back to, to base and have a little snooze. Uh, you have to take some long sticks there. Need one long stick for this. And I did use them, of course, to make this. So I don't forget that at all. What I might do in the meantime is lighten the load because 34 is getting a little, a little heavy. I wouldn't want to have to carry that. Okay, there we go. Um, and small sticks I can put directly into here. <coughs> He's very excited. No wonder he gets tired because he jumps around a lot. There we go. And I need a lot of long sticks as you can see because this is... Yeah. All of these are long sticks so... So 
some of those trees that I cut down are growing back, uh, which is a good thing because they will actually help us to, you know, to craft all the things we need for the building of the little place that I want to put here, my little halfway place. And I don't know why, as I said, I don't know why my map is not working. It's just, it's not spawning at all. Uh, did I act? Maybe I accidentally switched it off in settings or something. I'll have to have a look. I'm not sure what note's going on there, but, <laughs> but I can tell you that that is the direction, um, I believe, of the. I need to rest. Go to the road. Um, across that way is where my fishing um, base is. Okay, so. I think it's a 5027 or something. So I have come for, I've come a fair way. I just went for a little stroll and uh, followed this road. So I can follow the road pretty much back. Oh, come on. I wish I could just have a single button to, to choose hand. Makes unarmed, unarmed combat difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like, oh, just hold on, hold on in the middle of a fight. Stop, wait, hold that thought. <laughs> While I find my hands. <laughs> we can't fight yet. I'm, I haven't got my hands ready. <laughs> so, so that's one way to do, just, you know, die very quickly. Okay, so. No. Mm -hmm. I just want a small fire. And put it between uh, Now, I did peg down my stitch, didn't I? So, okay, well, what you can do is go harvest. To get six sticks, I harvest two larger sticks. And that's that done. A few more. <coughs> I'm not gonna <coughs> these. Oh, I don't know what his issue is. Why does he have to keep jumping? <laughs> yeah, strange thing going on there with the jumping. Oh, well, I had a mystery Nelson snail uh nail snoop <laughs> had a mystery nail snoop <laughs> well i need two more and then we're good to go Ooh, the spiders here and you have to just like stop and really look they're so hard to see So this is carcass that no longer spawns maggots, just when we need them. <laughs> okay, we'll check up the hill here. I might be able to get that fruit again. That's a flower, no flowers maybe. Uh, larvae is okay. Uh, it can give you minus two insanity, so just make sure you sit by the fire long enough after, and it um, counteracts that problem. Yeah, it looks like a stone, but it's not a stone. Familiar just here, okay. That's something familiar to me. Seems to be increasing my health. 
pretty nice. But I'll grab them in case we get any parasites from the city. That's a small stick. Maybe a Brazil nut or two would help. There's one. Pretty good though. They heal a lot of stuff. The blue ones. And I'll just take the rest with me. But they don't last long, they go off really fast. Ah, I don't want the vine. Yeah, I don't mind so much going ahead to here. What have we got down here though? See how curious I am? And because I'm wandering around being curious, I can get myself in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> I think I need the car, but I don't. But I do need the energy. <coughs> now there's a caiman around here. Um, I only have one spear on me too. Kind of a two spear job. I was just looking for regular sticks. Now, normally that this tree here will drop regular sticks, but I'm not seeing any. But I did find a bit on that. And another mushroom, so I'm happy to take those. I kind of conserve energy, so I don't really want to start chopping into stuff. There's a nice little spot just there. Oh, it's just worth wandering around. <coughs> okay, good. I'll get back up to the road. I think the road is up here somewhere. Oh, I'm just waiting. Okay. Can't find any of those nuts. Yep. This is really familiar territory to me. Uh, what are we close to here? Can't hurt to go for a little stroll, right? <laughs> and the snakes like to hide themselves in these. Might be close to the drug lab, actually. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay, just eat those energy. Absolute stack of those ones. Now, yeah, I'm looking for the a carcass, right? I, I need the, um, at this stage, I need maggots. And it sounds disgusting, but that's what I actually need. Oh, no, really? Okay. Uh, yep, back to the other Tidy up. Time to tidy. It's not going to even let me have a piece of meat. go. The problem is if I get to the drug lab, I don't think I left anything there. Oh. Um, I think I've been there. I think so. <coughs> maybe, maybe not uh, in this particular one. I don't recall. But I can see some fruit that's going to help us. Definitely eating these will help. And tidying up will help. But, yeah. Let's just keep this going. I don't want to lose energy. Let's have as much energy as possible. 
Yeah. I'm sure it's the blue one and not that other thing. And those are off. So let's have them. Let's go stack. Okay, I'm just going to eat them because... So, oh. Oh, look, I've got water on the go. Ta-da! Now, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, tidy this, and I have a bunch of these that I can probably just drop, so I don't need that. That's ridiculous. Um, pick a stack and just drop it. Then I need to take my little pick it up. Huh? Oh. Leave that one there then. At least you normally will help you with your health. Apparently not right now. And I'm not seeing a single rock. You notice that the game is not giving me a rock. It is, however, yay, it has just provided me with something that I can use. Okay, let's do that straight away. This wound is just the bane of this character's existence right now. Without it being properly treated, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna fester and just continually reduce health. I need that bone, so what do I get rid of? Um, I'm do this. Um, destroy stuff, I guess. So you go through your stuff destroying stuff constantly. It's, um, you've just got to keep on to it. Keep on to it and uh, sort there helps. So if you sort items, then you'll find it a lot easier to get rid of things that are no good. Those are okay. I'll just move this up here. And I'll pick the stack of those from here. I can in fact get rid of the unknown spoiled mushroom. So I need to eat these. The best thing you can do is just eat them. Bananas will spoil soon. Eat them. So statistically we're good, okay? The problem is um, I've gone too far, it's 50 not so 26, 27, uh, south. So it's a little bit around this rock, basically there. And uh, 50. Huh. So we want to go east, southeast over there. Okay. Well, I'm in. I'm on the way to the drug lab, I guess. Okay. Well, you know what? I can go sort myself out there, and let's just see what I've done. Um, but I'm hoping that I have left something there for myself. Can I not take that still? Uh, what I can do that's going to work is harvest this body. This means the meat goes off sooner, unfortunately. And these dried flowers, I cannot use right now. Uh, they're just taking up my space. I do want to collect the feathers. I do want my ash. I don't need all this business. That's too many. bone I do want is in fact that bone. Here we go. Let's get back to the track because the road leads directly <coughs> to the location I need to go to. There's a bed there, that's just what I'm thinking. <laughs> and then head back, you know, kind of the next day. Right. Oh, there's another toucan, look. 
So let's harvest that, and that way I'll actually have um, a bit more meat. Now I hope I'm onto something. Now I'm probably almost overweight. Finally, I had to come all this way to get a stone. That's crazy. Crazy how long that took. I should have just been able to smack a rock with a utensil and then um, get myself a stone, you know? I'm sure. That's ridiculous. Okay, so here we are in a clearing. Um, now there should be a drug lab around here. I think the drug lab's here somewhere, isn't it? Where am I? Am I back here again? Back at my own location that I was at before. Interesting. Well, close to home. So it's sending me, I've gone in a circle. Going mad in the jungle, clearly. Yeah, okay, I'm back on, I'm back on the road. Right. Wow. Where did it go? Here. Okay. There it is. And here's my base. Okay, oh, all right. Well, I've got back to this base at least. It's not, all is not lost. We're okay, we've got back. Oh, I wanted to get round to the other side, but I've got my little fruit tree there. It clearly doesn't want to let me. All I needed was two sticks, and I had to go that far to find two sticks. To save energy, I'm trying to conserve energy. With all these rocks around, I could not find a single stone, a single rock. That's just crazy. But at least I've got my rocks now, okay? So there we go, now I just need a battery log. Okay, well, the next thing. The next thing is to find bamboo somewhere. Um, hmm, curious. Anyway, let's see. Where are we at? It's uh, this is this location I'm at is fifty one twenty three, so it's between it's between the drug lab and the um, uh, uh, the fishing hut, you know, fishing little fishing uh, dorm with the jetty and the boat. So yeah, it's between. So this is what I want to have just a little halfway house. Um, so stop over in case of any disasters. Anything like that, and have some fences here too. Uh, I think would be a good idea. Some sort of defences, so you can get that um, that little trap that you can set the. Uh, no, this thing. Where's that trap? Oh, other way. Let's see. A stone trap, and then there's. No. Nope. Not that. Nope. Oh, I can't find it. There, bow trap. Okay, so we can get a, a couple of bow traps around the place too, um, and hopefully those will, yeah, hopefully those will protect. As long as we remember they're there, they they will protect. You know, it's like uh, in co-op, you want to make sure you both remember because um, you know, well, multiplayer, you make sure you both remember because otherwise it's all sort of trouble, isn't it? Uh, so a bamboo log, one log. So I need one thick bamboo tree. There's got to be something around. I just have to, I just have to uh, like go for a little hunt to find that in the next day, I guess. Right. Well, I have everything I need. Why is it going there? Okay, we can go. Aha! Now we're sorted. And empty, I need to go and fill these, as you can see. Uh, but in the meantime, I did just use what I had and fill up these ones here. And let's just get started and get some food. And hopefully, regain some energy. Come 
Horn. So once again, the issue is, uh, in fact, the issue is, in fact, the um, the wound that is we're struggling to heal. Uh, really, really a big problem. If I look at that wound, it's no matter how many times I put these the maggots on the wound to clean it, it's just not healing. Um, I can try an ash dressing, I guess, insert. Perhaps it will allow it. Yes. So it's letting me fix that. Uh, I better check anyway because I may have something else. Oh dear. Okay. Well, I'm not going to drop them near my bed, but I can chuck them in the fireplace. <laughs> Let's see if you see. <laughs> Look how many there are. <laughs> I didn't check for a while. Look at that. <sighs> that is crazy. <sighs> I feel a whole lot better getting rid of these. Okay. Oh, look how many there are. Now, you can get a little award <sighs> thing if you get 50, I think it is. <laughs> you get 50 on you. <laughs> yeah. uh, just never take off yeah. one of these, but then you'll probably go mad and get chased by the um, by the tribesmen. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Look at that. That's the. We're back. We've made it. we <laughs> I'm saving right now. <laughs> I'm not that's it I'm saving it right now because I've just finally got rid of the little magnifying glass obviously the process of I think it was it took four applications of maggots and uh, two applications of an ash dressing and one lily dressing and two or three bone infusions uh, in order to get rid of that um, infected wound so that's quite considerable <laughs> that's that's a lot of resources okay 39. Oh, there's no point trying to fill that one. Alright, let's do this one. Let's see if we can find it now. Uh, 10. It's that one there. Okay. 20. Uh -huh. 
30. And roll. Good time to fill your little flasks. Try not to stand in the fire because you'll get a burn. Face the other way, it's a bit dangerous. Oh no, this is where the spider spawns. I just realised. Don't want to get bitten by a spider. Alright, so there's always a lot to think of, right? <laughs> um, and in fact, this is where I want to. Uh, this is where I want to do the the trap to kill the spider. Uh, but it's not this kind of trap. See that the trap that I'm thinking of is a stone trap, and it's really not what I need. I need a um. Oh, what is it called? So there's like a cage, a small cage trap. So yeah, that's what I need. I need a small cage trap. Whatever the proper name for that is, I have no idea. Oh, that thing's spoiled as well? Ooh, well let's just destroy it. But I noticed that while I had that on me, not as another, like no other spider actually spawned while I had that. So could that be a thing, you know? Could that be something that I, I need to know? If you have one of those on you, you don't. it's like a repellent for spiders. I hope I've discovered something because I don't like spiders. Any repellent is a good repellent to me. <laughs> Right, let's get rid of the things that they like to live in. Can I get rid of these? Yeah, that's stuff you can't get rid of. But they definitely like banana leaves, so this thing can go. Okay. Now we can at least see properly part of the battle, I believe. And I've got a stack of leeches again, I think. <laughs> Look at this. I need to make more leaf armor, actually. My, my leaf armor is almost completely, completely worn through. I don't actually know how to take it off. You can take it off, but then I don't know what to do after that. So I'm still learning that. <laughs> I know how to make it. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of it <laughs> so that I can replace it. So you can go craft. Now I think you go. Uh, oh, okay. Do I have two? No, I need another rope. Okay. Small stick, I think. And um, is it one rope or two? I think it's two ropes. And it is in real f real life raining here, really, really raining, very hard outside. Um, so I'm going to just hold and save this game. Seem to be doing quite well, almost at day 50. Um, I'm proud that as a noob to this game, I am still um, hacking it out, still going, still trying to do things, even though the game has sent me through so much frustration. And I have had a go at um, permadeath, as I said earlier, if, if you um, have jumped in later. I um, yep, definitely, I get to four days permadeath at this stage and something happens to me, so I'll just keep going, you know. I'm sure I'm going to improve and uh, I will be able to go for longer at some stage. Uh, King of the Jungle, I'm going okay. For some reason, I find that the game gives you stuff, you know. The harder it is, the more it gives you. I, I noticed that. It does actually help you if you go for a harder mode. But it is harder. <laughs> You're not going to escape that part. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't get away with it being easier. The game itself is not as good. But it does give you more resources, um, I have found, to deal with that difficulty. Which, you know, 
is, uh, is good. Okay, well, now I wanted to fill those and um, potentially create a few more little meals and things. So what's there? 40 or 40, that'll do. I'll be very careful, I don't want to put out my fire. So, see. I want to use this mushroom because it's going to go off otherwise. You can only cook those, you can't do anything else with them. I wonder if I cook this food, what happens? Let's see. I've not tried cooking it, so let's cook it. Okay, uh, it'll give you carbohydrates, take away parasites, and give you 10 hydration. There you go. Mushroom soup uh, gives you five sanity. So if you're losing sanity, go pick those strange looking mushrooms and make a soup out of it. Um, it will, yeah, it will give you back your sanity. So you can only do one mushroom for a soup, which is, you know, not realistic, but hey, it's what the game does. <laughs> so that's what you do. <laughs> there we go. So we keep our sanity levels up because it is utterly frustrating dealing with the sanity issue in this game. Some people think it's good. I don't. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> the ghost is yelling at himself and laughing like a lunatic and being generally very annoying. I just, <laughs> yeah, I just don't really get into that whole thing. Um, energy levels and health-wise, I like this mushroom. Anyway, I'm happy to raise my sanity levels. Why are my flowers in this order? Surely they would be... I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. So I have this... Mu this um, Coconut here too, if I need fats. Nope. How I do, however, have something. So you put it on or take it off, as far as that can go. Oh, yuck. They're back. <laughs> <laughs> They're back. <laughs> back for more. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, Brian, Brian Menard playing um, Fable now. Oh dear, Fable 1. <laughs> Holly! <laughs> oh dear, if, if any of you have watched it or if Brian's listening, that, Brian, that was hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing at the whole thing with Polly. Oh dear me. Anyway, I guess it, it got the job done, right? So... <laughs> Anyway, it's stuck in my head now. Oh, the, the whole Polly thing, all her little phrases that she says. <laughs> they keep going through my head. <laughs> but, I mean, look, Fable 1 was, um, if you've played it, it was the first game that I ever played on an Xbox, ever. <laughs> now, I played the, the old tennis, you know? Remember the old tennis that you had in those TVs? A long time ago. And uh, an MS DOS um, monochrome Doom game of Doom or something a very long time ago, and I uh, then didn't play games for a very long time. So, um, hmm. other than in an arcade, of course. Um, and I, I just I love House of the Dead. House of the Dead is so much fun. Uh, I don't know if any of you played that, but uh, it's a lot of fun. So look, the larvae it gives you minus five sanity, but if you cook it in a soup, right, <laughs> that's the thing, in a soup, <laughs> and sit in front of the fire, then it actually gives you bonuses, so it's not so bad, so let me see, let me highlight that, so you get five energy, um, eight proteins, and it says minus two sanity, but don't worry, because if you're in front of the fire, you will get that back super fast. So there you go. And all you have to do is find a mushroom and eat mushroom soup. And you've got your, your sanity. 
And here's a mushroom. So if I really had to, I could just come here and grab one of these. But I should leave those in case of parasites. Those ones kill parasites. Um, I also have bananas. Yep. Let's go eat or grab a banana. <coughs> Right, I'm going to take those, and there's a little bit of food and a bit of nutrition for the morning. Proteins are a big issue. In this game it's constantly an issue to keep proteins going. I find that frustrating, but you know, you would, I guess, burn through all of your, um, all of your energy pretty fast. I mean, you'd go through your carbs super fast, uh, just because you are uh, doing so many things, you know. Working hard, physically. So we don't think about that, I guess, when we're in games. It's just the character just magically does stuff and uh, doesn't seem to tire. Whereas you know, you probably it probably take you several days to do the, the thing that you can do in you know two minutes for the character. <laughs> so yeah, or weeks. <laughs> Even weeks, <laughs> if you think about it, yeah. So that's the beauty of, of playing the game, isn't it? All the things that you can imagine, because you can just do them instantly. Okay, well there we go. Um, well, I've got some water and everything, and I just need to go catching some fish. Need to sleep. And uh, my character is back. He's back. Uh, I'm going to make myself a walkway here of these things here. So it's like a crafting walkway into my base. And I can make a fence around that if I want, if I really want to. But that takes a lot of logs and I am not sure. Um, I'm going to cut down these trees but they are essentially resources because they could spawn coconuts, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to cut down coconut trees. There are other trees, I guess. Hmm. I haven't tried cutting down one of these huge ones, but maybe I could try because it's going to give me a lot of stuff. Or break my axe, one or the other. Okay, well, that's that. So if we drink this one now, Yeah, we're looking really, really good. The st our stats are great, actually. Um, and there we go. We've now got more ash, and I want to collect that for sure. That and charcoal. I can happily leave that there. I don't mind. Um, hmm. We need to make a storage container, which means we need a mud mixer. So to make a storage container in this, you don't make a, there's no wooden storage containers. What you need to do is you need to make a mud mixer, all right? And make mud bricks, and with the mud bricks, you um, you, build, you use those for building, you use them for making different kinds of crafting items, and so on. Uh, okay, so that's the idea. Anyway, I'm happy to just uh, let the character sleep for a bit. So that's some progress uh, in my little halfway base. I might, uh, for the next stream, I might do a little bit more work on this base here, on this halfway area. Um, my stick collection is here and uh, on one side of the path, on the other side of the path, I will make a driveway going down. Um, I will eliminate all this stuff and make a nice little driveway going down to the pond. And I'm going to find a place to build my base. So maybe even close to the road, so I know it's there. That might not be a bad idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll look for a good spot and. Um, where I get a decent view of things too, so you want to be able to see around a little bit in case you get attacked. <gasps> uh, especially, I mean, look, I got attacked by uh, a, a jaguar. I think that's the jaguars only something. And um, no, <coughs> no, 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 go, drop it. 
centipedes. Don't do not want to hang on to that because that has centipedes. Um. So yeah, I I had to because it was early in the game. I, I logged into one and I think I was in a higher. I was in like survival mode. Um, survival <laughs> mode. Permadeath. I think it was. And oh, I can't take it. But. And uh, anyway, I had this. I had this uh, jaguar come up to my base and just terrorise me. And I, I didn't have much to fight it with, you know, at that stage. And uh, it took rather a lot of spears. And <laughs> yeah. And so on. It didn't get me, but um, thankfully I had at least built a shelter like this. I just had a, uh, a ladder and I climbed up on top and I was shooting it. It took ages. I had to wait for it to go away. Then I'd come down, collect my spears. It would come back. I'd attack it again. And, you know, that can happen to you, right? That can happen. So uh, it's a good idea to have, I think, to make little halfway bases if you intend spending a lot of time in the game. Um, if you're just going to run, like do a, like a, a speed run, that's different. But if you want to come and like live in the game and do building and exploring and, and so on in survival <coughs> mode, it's a really good idea to set yourself up so that you've got places to stop off on the way uh, here, there and all around. Um, that's just my thoughts, you know. I think in real life you'd set up a little camp or campsites so you could stop. Uh, hmm, there can be a variety of circumstances and reasons why um, you may need to, to stop. And one of the, the reasons can be just getting bitten, as you've seen. Um, really hard to see that little spider, really hard. But they bite you, it's nasty. So, yeah. So there you go. Okay, well, I'm going to save my game, and we are up to day 49, so actually, oh, wait a minute, let me just, I just want to save, and um, let's have a look again. No, we've hit it, we've, we're at day 50, we've made it. Um, yes, the character and I, and with your encouragement, we shall continue on <laughs> and attempt to get even further now you see I'm in welcome to the jungle mode there and I've been attempting some of the challenges in these two slots here I like to try stuff whether it's permadeath or whether it's challenges and um, I've almost nailed the fishing challenge I was down to the last fish I just ran out of time and the fire I got pretty close but um, yeah I, I think I got I can't remember what happened to me, but yeah, it didn't. I didn't quite make it. So, but now I'm getting closer, closer to nailing those. I think once you, it's just familiarity. When you know the map in this, map knowledge goes a long way to getting you through these different quests. So uh, that's why if you want to just do, um, get to to know the map, you can just go into tourist mode. Even they've got extra modes. So I might just come out of here. I've saved that. So let's let's exit and let's have a look. And I'll show you a uh, quick. Yeah. So I did go through this um, originally, and uh, in the first stream that I did of this game, um, that I did upload to YouTube. So I will upload this stream. I'm hoping that you could hear me clearly. Uh, through this. I will have subtitles on, so uh, yeah, I'll chuck those on anyway. There's no point in me really saying it at this stage anyway, but I'll, I'll just say it to remind myself. <laughs> so um, options, we have, if we look in game options, what are our options here? Subtitles, uh, hints, cinematics, no, nothing like that. Let's get, oh, yeah, okay. I don't want to do that. I want to go single player and story and survival. So if I go into that, there's your modes. Okay, so you've got, that is your permadeath mode right there. Um, King of the Jungle, I think I'm at, I think I'm at day nine or something. No, day nine or ten, maybe ten. I'm not sure. I think it's day nine so far. 
Welcome to the Jungle Day 19 on this particular um, avatar on my Xbox. And I just hit day 50 on Walk in the Park. Okay, so a walk in the park is, don't take it lightly, it's not as easy as you think. So your hostile tribes are off, but you'll notice I'm still practicing as though, you know, as though they're on sometimes, not all the time. Um, if I was, I would never light a fire at night time, okay, because they'll find you. <laughs> so there's things that you just don't do. Um, the other thing is you, you wouldn't want to carry raw meat around in the jungle because animals will smell you, you know, wild, like the cats will, the, the, um, the wild cats will smell you and they'll be after you for that meat because they can smell it. So you would never carry raw meat on your person. That's something you just wouldn't do. Uh, even if you, yeah, no, you wouldn't. You'd have cooked, you'd have it cooked and wrapped up so that it couldn't be smelt, like in a container. But yeah, so think about it that way. I mean, I guess it's not unreasonable if you got attacked while you've got raw meat on your person, you know. Uh, okay, so these are the modes I'm talking about. So a custom mode, you can actually go in and you can adjust a lot of the settings. Uh, I will let you just go through this briefly so you can have a look at what you can do. So you can go and turn all this business on or off, whatever is annoying you, and make the game your very own and and just have the game the way you want it to be. So if you don't like spiders, you turn that off, okay? Um, now, I don't, it, I don't dislike all spiders. I only dislike certain ones that crawl into your personal space and, um, the, you know, the the tarantula type ones and and of course the the trapdoor spider is the one that's <laughs> highly highly toxic um, we have here the black widow spider things like that um, so certain ones of course they're scary right <laughs> and now people keep tarantulas as pets but uh, I just they freak me out they jump and uh, I don't know they, they're too scary I just <laughs> I can't really deal with them but I mean you can even do the game without leeches if you don't like snakes if you have a fear of snakes you don't even have to have them in the game uh, you don't have to go killing tribes people if you don't want to you can turn that off um, and just explore the map so this is the beauty of this particular game that it gives you the ability to try it out in different ways and in, and customize your experience of the jungle so you can just experience the jungle and living in the jungle without all of the threats if you want to and just build and um, make tree houses and just craft and discover how to do all those things and then at some stage jump into a harder mode I mean it's up to you so tourist you can see the tourist mode you've got your um, there's no issues with sanity you don't have to worry about that uh, at all you have uh, the hostile tribes are, are switched off entirely you don't lose nutrients so in that one you're not worrying so much about um, about keeping all those nutrients up like I was showing you on the watch all the time keep checking predators are off you don't they've got nothing that's going to try and eat you so it's a very easy mode it, it it's purely for as it says peaceful mode no hostile attacks there are no dangerous animals in the jungle recommended for players who want to focus on story and exploring so if you want to focus just on um on you know um there is an actual story to this game so if we go back here you can see it says story so Jake Higgins um, I, I changed his name to Jack uh, to um, Jack not Jake and the reason is because <laughs> he's a jumping Jack in my game every time I try to pick something up he jumps in the air he gets too excited so I call him the jumping Jack <laughs> <laughs> now there's also this one which is just a survival experience and that's what I've been playing okay and that way you can just create whatever you want you don't have time pressure as well so it's just you and you don't even have to you know there's no you don't have to worry about people calling you on the radio or, or whatever you do your own thing that's that uh, spirits of Amazonia now once you do this story here they recommend you do the story first and then the spirits of as Amazonia as the 
is the pre-story. So that's the historical element. And they do recommend you do that after doing the story. So I don't, I'm not sure why. I mean, I, I would think of it the other way around. But, you know, fair enough if that's what they say. Now here's your challenges. And I've had a go at campfire. I know where, um, I know the mighty, mighty camp. Campfire I've had a go at. Uh, oh, this one, Hunter, briefly, briefly. Um, fishermen, mostly I've been going fishermen and campfire. Uh, Hunter, I haven't done so much. I don't really like killing animals all that much. I don't mind, uh, I'm okay with fishing, but I don't mind, I don't like killing those little animals very much at all so <laughs> uh, I guess you do what you have to do to survive but yeah I mean each of these has its own like a unique challenge within within that so um, you've got to know once again this is based on the story so when you do the story in the game you get to know where all these items are okay so you learn that through the story of the game. Um, you can also learn it in survival mode by running into these items by finding them. So here you are, full body armor, our metal armor and a metal spear, which sounds great to me, but you need to make a forge. Now, I didn't know I could make leaf armor so easily. So I think you just need like a few sticks. Um, from memory, it's just something like a, a, a few sticks and some banana leaves, you know, and, and that's it. Um, and some rope. I think you need two ropes or something, a couple of sticks and whatever. But you'll know when it's right because it'll, it'll come up with a label of an item that you can create. So you can just add and remove it will until it comes up and tells you that you've got it. <laughs> um, because the thing is, until you get to a certain stage, you don't know recipes. They don't exist in your logbook. So you won't have them and you won't know that you can even do it. So that's why I was saying, you know, before um, that I learned it by watching um, Glock. I, he'd gone back into the game um, recently and decided to have a go at the, I think, the Flame Keeper. So, um, which is on PC. So. Yeah, I, was, I watched that and he shows you in that. So if you want to know, um, check that out and uh, he shows you how to create that armour very quickly early in the game and um, you don't need to know the recipe and you can, you know, you can just uh, strengthen up your defences a little bit. So I think that's really smart. I mean, I didn't even know I could. So I'm glad I, I watched that because it, I did learn something. Um, so yes, I do try to learn from other people too in... Um, you know, I do watch other gamers as well. Um, we all have something to teach each other, I think, in uh, in playing in these game worlds. There's, there's something that each of us learns or, you know, experiments and with and uh, or we have some method of doing something that's really effective and we, we just develop that ourselves, our own little unique trait. And so therefore we can help each other, can't we, you know? Uh, so multiplayer now I haven't tried this you can either host a game or join a game there you go okay so you can go into this with your friends you can try the I don't know if you can do challenges with your friends I suppose you can the tutorial mode now um, here you go okay so if you click on tutorial it takes you through the, the beginning thing I don't know how to get out of that now but um, I think I out of the game his um, partner and it takes you through just the most basic aspects of survival that you need to know for this game so you, I really recommend that you do that I definitely did it and I did it several times over okay because I didn't think that I could do things quickly enough to survive in the game very well so I was too slow and some things I wasn't really I was fiddly it was too fiddly for me I didn't have the coordination right and I was just struggling a bit 
yeah, so it's one of those games that can be fiddly, and um, once you get the hang of it, it's better, you know. But it it definitely uh, takes a bit of getting used to. So there you go. So that's tutorial mode. Just click on it and off you go. Uh huh. So it's my single player, and I can go back to my challenges, and um, my challenges back to my loads. And there we go. So day 50, very proud to even make it that far. Even though I'm only in a walk in the park, it still has almost killed me several times over. I've got to say, it's just not a walk in the park. Do not do not be fooled by the a walk in the park. Because what happens is the game tries every other way to kill you. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, just, it just doubles up. <laughs> It might say, oh, it doesn't do this thing and that thing, but it just doubles everything else up and makes it harder, I'm pretty sure, because that's kind of the experience I've, I've had with this mode compared to some of the other ones, right? So, um, like hiding snakes in bushes like that, whereas in the other ones, my snakes are always really visible. So, I, I don't know. I, I, might, I might be off track, but I, I think I'm onto something. I think, <laughs> I think they made it difficult all the same. So, just so people would have a challenge... And it definitely is. So if you just want to get used to building and all of that, but you do still want a challenge, go for a walk in the park. And don't expect it to actually be a nice little walk in the park because it won't be. <laughs> okay, well, that's all I have for tonight. And um, thanks for joining me. And uh, it is actually raining like jungle rain here right now. <laughs> Not quite a monsoon, but it's getting there. <laughs> So uh, yeah, take care. I will. Uh, I'll catch you in my next stream, which is seven days to die on Wednesday, and I have a horde night to do at my base, where um, the apocalyptic oasis base. So uh, I shall catch you there. So night for now. See you later. Bye.